I'm all the way up. do a short film and enter it in a film competition. <laughs> yeah. Well, YouTube's good at the moment. Won a few races in there. Hey. I said I won a few races in there. At school, yeah, school sport. Jeez, this holds heaps of memories. Time, yeah. Mate. Did you? Have First, it was skating. Then it was basketball. Yeah. Then it was drinking up there. <laughs> Mate, so many memories. What a place. You really don't appreciate the view until you come back. It's fucking awesome, yeah. It's wicked. The new five dollars. That's funny. What? The new five dollar note. Oh, plastic. Hello. Let's get them mixed up still. What? It's a dollar. One and the two. I know. Yeah. Who? Who? Remember Mary? Ukulele Ukulele yeah. Yeah, she's Other in a band. And um, what? <laughs> jam session Lots of Church Hall. That's right. TMJ hoodie on and for my next trick I gotta try and get the fuck out of here somehow I've been putting this off all day no one likes hill starts right Let's see how we go all right guys off to the gym it's about three in the afternoon uh, went to the market this morning as you guys saw yeah, it was pretty sweet actually you know what like that market's been on for like 10 years and that was the first time I've actually enjoyed it and liked it because every time I used to want to go when I used to live here um, I was too hungover so yeah it was nice nice to just sit there have a coffee I got three things from the bakery but I couldn't I could not help myself I got got the coffee and I thought oh yeah I'll just keep fasting and then I saw this shit and I was like nah I've got to get some stuff I'm only gonna come here once so I got a big vegetable samosa large sized um, I got a chocolate chip bagel which looked absolutely delicious handmade and it was fucking so good just ate that before and I also got a chocolate brownie so <laughs> As you can see, I mean, flexible dieting to the max, to the absolute max. Um, you know, these foods are not normally in my diet in such big amounts, but fuck it, you know, I am consciously making these decisions and God, you, you really do need to live a little. Um, I'm coming to terms with the fact that I need some more balance. Um, let's, but I mean, Jake version 3.0 is meant to be following me on you know it's meant to be basically around me shredding down to 8% body fat and showing people how I do it 
how I fit everything around my own lifestyle and keep motivated myself and uh, that's that's what I want to portray and what, what I want to put across to you guys is, is that anyone can do it um, yeah but anyways anyways off to the gym gonna train some arms my legs are pretty tender from yesterday it was a big big leg session not not too heavy you know squats my strength because I haven't been hitting the heavy weights, I haven't been putting three plates on, hitting 140 for, for reps recently, means that my, my squat strength has actually decreased by, you know, 10%, something like that, um, which is quite, dis it's kind of disheartening and disappointing. Um, but, you know, I just haven't put the time into, into training with squats. I mean, I do squats probably once a week, but I've never, I don't do strength sets, which I will need to do to, you know, to allow myself to at least get used to handling that heavy weight. Um, doesn't matter how many reps I get, as long as I'm actually handling it for a few, you can only go up from there. So, yeah, I am in a, well, I've been in a surplus for the last week, but as, apart from that, I am going to be in a deficit. So, if anything, you know, this, this last week and a half of, of eating, a lot more than than I was or a lot eating over my maintenance I'd say um, if anything that's just going to be a, a week of I guess recuperation for my body um, eating more for a period of time and make, you know I might make a few gains who knows I uh, definitely haven't lost fat over that time but that doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all I've had an awesome time in New Zealand and I'm not going to regret anything at all I mean, there's no point. Fuck, you only live once, man. Can't be too harsh on yourselves. Definitely don't have any comps or any dates in mind at the moment, so I'm just taking it as it comes, but I will get to that 8% body fat, and as soon as I get back into Alice, I'm gonna have my ready-made meals in the freezer, which are delicious from Core, Core, Nutri uh, Core Power Foods. And as well as that, I'm going to have a package from Walden Farms, which is going to have all my sauces and all my syrups and and uh, toppings and that that are all calorie free, which I I cannot wait for. That's going to be sick. Plus um, some seasonings and shit like that. So I honestly can't wait to get back home. To be fair, just to jump back on the clean diet and and start losing fat again because I was really making awesome progress and hopefully I haven't blown out too much. So we'll see. Anyways, that's enough of that. I'm going to the gym. I'll see you guys after. Back there on Major Aitken Drive was my first car crash ever. I was 15. It was, oh my God, what, oh what a situation, man. What a fuck up on my part. Just started driving. First time I'd taken my dad's car by myself. It was to my school prize giving, the, the, you know, the day we finished school, I felt cool as driving in there by myself in a car, you know, only 15 years old. <laughs> On the way home, was following someone else. We were going to go driving up the hills. I was completely inexperienced, completely. And in hindsight, it's good that something like this happened early on to teach me a lesson. But yeah, basically tried drifting when I hadn't even done it before. I th I'd seen it on fucking Tokyo Drift and thought, oh yeah, easy, you know, I can do that. Tried it, absolutely fucked it up, went slamming into a wall, had to call my dad. It was the quietest drive home in my, in my life. Um, it was just horrible, guys. So what I would say is don't even try it. Anyways, I've just missed my turn off, so I better fucking put the camera down. I've got to go actually do some weights and stop talking. Actually, I completely forgot to get my pre-workout drink, which I'm not sure what I'm going to get. Because it's going to be full strength. Full sugar, of course. Pre-workout, man, sugar doesn't bother me at all. I mean, it's only going to go to good use, in my opinion, wherever it comes from. You can, you can drink soda if you want, but... It's not going to be very filling, but if you're, if you're in a calorie deficit, it's not going to be very filling. But if you're in a surplus and you don't care, and you're eating five, six hundred grams of carbs a day, then some sugar is not going to hurt, that's for sure. Um, 
but that's certainly not my situation. Although, I am gonna stop right now and get a big can of V, and then we're gonna hit the gym. All right, so we're just outside Anytime Fitness. I've just finished a workout. We're doing some top of the car action again today. Back and biceps. I've trained back like three times while on holiday in the last week and a half, so. Um, but yeah, back and biceps, no rack pulls, nothing heavy, just isolation stuff again. Um, so variations of lap pull downs and seated row. And then I went over and did a, a bent over row. And then I thought, well, shit, I came in here to do arms, didn't I? And I've smashed triceps three times in the last week as well. So I did biceps. So back and biceps, I'm feeling like, you know, I've, I've definitely, I've definitely trained fucking hard every single session. I've trained every single day since I've been here, pretty much. So any excess food's definitely going to go to good use. But um, yeah, it's, it's quite funny, man. Every time I come to this gym, because it's the one nearest to my old school, I always see at least one or two pe uh, people around here that are still hanging around, still hanging around, still around Kashmir. So it's quite funny. But anyways. Also saw a couple couple of new people going in there and getting shown around, getting their key. You know, I remember what it was like on my first day. I just all I can do is is hope for their sake that I've got some good advice, that they know that results don't come quick, but but once they do, you know, once you start seeing actual physical results on your battery ran out, but you see what I'm saying. I'll see you guys in the next one.